Genesis 32 and 33. Jacob goes home. Jacob goes home, but did he stop his lying and his deception? <coughs> Who knows? I think he's afraid. Well, what would what would Jacob have to be afraid of? Esau. Yes. <laughs> Why? That shocked me that Esau what, welcomed him back so nicely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Although he came with 400, so yeah, yeah. he wasn't afraid. Yeah. Like. In case it didn't go well <laughs> for anything. Yeah. Yeah, but what got me is he still didn't go back. Mm -hmm. That when we get to that part, it still bugs me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's well, kind of lying about what he's going to. He's lying to Esau about what he's going to do. Even I could see Esau just shaking his head he going, goes "Yeah." Home doesn't mean he's changed. No. Mm -hmm. And just because he, well, we'll get to that. <laughs> so, uh, what do you guys see in the first couple of verses of, of chapter thirty-two? Angels. Angels. Mm -hmm. Angels and messengers. That word is all over the place. Uh, the angels of God came to meet Jacob. So he calls the camp um, two camps. Uh, he named the place Manaim. Not, not that I'm saying that, not that I'm pronouncing that right, but that means two camps. And then Jacob sends his own messengers ahead of himself. Esau. So messengers all over the place. My strange Bible says two companies. Two companies. It's, companies. it's the yeah. English version. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. And is what uh, is that in um, NIV UK or? It's just they call it the New English Bible and it has a oh. list the Bible, a New English translation planned and directed by representatives of about every church, including the Methodists and the Presbyterians and the Friends and the so on, so wow. on. Wow, very cool. It's different. Yeah, companies. Yeah. So... It's more of a British, I think. Yeah, more, more military. Yeah, yeah. So my question with the angels is, why did God send angels at this time? As... Instead of going himself, or, why did angels show up? Why is there any talk of angels whatsoever? I don't know. And I'll tell you what I come up. Yeah, with. go ahead. Because when I have a question, I usually always look always. At, look for. It. Um, uh, okay, um, it was a reminder from God um, that He was still with Jacob. That's what my book says. Mm, okay. Oh, so I. Yep, you're spot on. I'm <laughs> with your book, anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thus God was with Jacob as he had promised. And it doesn't talk about anybody else seeing these. I don't. Mm -hmm. Angels, I don't know. So do we have Jacob once again seen into the spiritual realm? Um, usually when, when they see into the spiritual realm, it's usually in a dream. Okay. So he probably did see them. Okay. And um, I think most of the time when people see angels, it's, it's sometimes, it's most time limited. And, of course, Jacob's the only one there. He's nowhere near anybody else at this time. But messengers all over the place. And look at how Jacob greets, or look at, look at what Jacob says to his messengers to tell Esau the language he uses in verse 4. This is what you are to say to my master Esau? Mm-hmm. Your servant Jacob says, I have been staying with Laban and have remained there until now. I have cattle, donkey, sheep, and goats, manservants and maidservants. Now I'm sending this message to my Lord that I may find favor in your eyes. So what, why do you think he used that language? Because he's scared. He's yeah. scared, he's but... trying to pay him honors, so maybe to get off the hook. Oh, to give him back his birthright. Mm, no, I just came up life. with that. I don't know why. No, it's oh, because close. I'm working with it's close. I'm working to give him a blessing. Sparkies. Because <laughs> that's what I that's what I initially thought. Because we're doing that he's it trying this to give back what he stole from uh, Esau, but he can't. Right. His father has given that to him. Mm -hmm. His father gave him the blessing. Mm -hmm. The birthright he probably could have given back because he stole it, mm -hmm. but he doesn't. Mm -hmm. So what he wants to do is he wants to kind of appease. 
Esau, but also give him a blessing. Back. Well, it going over Sparky's about two chapters back for tomorrow. I reread what birthright is, and he gets double. Right. And that includes not only the money, the cattle, and everything. everything. So maybe that is what he's doing. He's trying to make amends to his brother by giving him double back of well, what out, he out has. Of his stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. He could have probably given back the birthright, but he doesn't. Well, he doesn't know what Esau has, though. No. No. I mean, Esau could have done very well for himself. Yeah. Well, and he did. He did. He did. He's got he did a good country. very well. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got a lot of. He's got lots well, of stuff. He but he's up. Maybe he did. Did well. he take a right. bunch of cattle and stuff with him? Didn't he just go? No. No. Nope. He just he, went with his staff. He went with his own stuff because he escaped when he went. No, to, I mean when he went there to start with. I mean, he didn't. Did he ever get the stuff of his birthright before he no. left? No. no, he. I didn't think he did, but no. I thought maybe I missed something. No, Esau blew a top, and he had to run. Yeah, he ran for his life. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm speaking Sparky now because that's what we're talking oh. tomorrow. So <laughs> they blew. He got. <coughs> so. Well, I'm glad you translated. Yeah, yeah, he blew a top. Yeah. He blew a gasket. <laughs> and like Sue said, or somebody said on this side, um, Esau sends 400 men with him. Seems like kind of a lot to bring. Yeah. Yeah. Just as a greeting to a family reunion. Yeah. Is he expecting all-out war? Or? I think he's coming prepared just in case. Right. Yeah. But you yeah, don't know what the like land is like. For, you don't know what the land is like from um, Edom up to where Gilead, Gilad, where um, Jacob was either. Because I know he had to go through Moab. Mm -hmm. So you don't know what kind of stuff he had to. Oh, know. you mean if there were others ever in between? Right. Right. Yeah. We know that whole area is full of enemies of, of <coughs> Israel. So probably enemies of everybody. They're just probably warlike people. So we don't know what his motivation is at all. It just seems like a huge number. Mm -hmm. So he sends the men first. He sends the messengers first Correct. to Esau right. to kind of appease him. And then Esau comes back with 400 people, so Jacob's really afraid now. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. Esau must have done pretty good in 20 years to be able yeah. to have 400 men and yeah. prosperous even though he was <clears throat> he did. his yeah. birthright. Yeah. He did well. And because <laughs> Isaac did bless him, um, just not as much as he did. No, he Jacob. had a weird blessing. Yeah. yeah. He got short it. Yeah, but you know, um, I think if we went back to the blessing, it was it was something like he was going to be uh, warlike, and he'll have his own peoples. So that's pretty much what he did. So knowing Jacob as well as we do by now, mm -hmm. could he have been trying to bribe his brother? <laughs> he could have sending been. all this stuff as a bribe. Probably, yeah, probably. probably a bribe to say what that. A, a bribe to say, don't, don't harm me. me. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> don't, okay, kill don't kill me. Kill me. Think, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Lord, I'm kind of sorry, but yet not really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lord, this is your servant. If God didn't tell me to come this way, I certainly wouldn't be back. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he's trying to, probably trying to bribe Esau. And Jacob sure wasn't out in front being the leader. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Well, even when he's praying to God here, he's kind of, kind of sounds like grumbling. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you, do you get the feeling? Or, I mean, when I was reading this, is Aesop <laughs> religious or no? Um, I mean, Jacob at least puts on the pretense. Yeah, I don't think we ever get the feeling that that Esau is religious. I didn't. No. Hey. Um, well, we never hear him pray. Right. He's always just, you know, give me this, give me that. Right. Um, he's a hunter, and he's just a, a rough character. Yeah. Yeah. And the New Testament said that God hates him. <gasps> oh, okay. There's, there's other, there's a couple of references <coughs> to God hating Esau. Yeah, that's really? right. Because of his. That. Yeah, oh, you're right. Now, you know what? Yeah. Going back by that blessing, Isaac answered Esau, I have made him Lord over you, and have made all his relatives and servants. So in other words, he's given it back. Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, here you go, Lord. So he's, because he said, his dad made him lord over Esau, right. but I think Isaac has given it back to, I mean, um, Jacob, Jacob has given right. it back. He's trying to give a blessing back. Yeah. But not the blessing. But it says you will dwell 
your dwelling will be away from the earth's riches, richness, away from the dew of heaven above, and you will live by the sword, and you will serve your brother. Yeah. But you will grow restless, and you will throw your yoke from your off your neck. So he. So he is a he is mili militaristic. Correct. Yeah. And he has thrown the the yoke of <laughs> Jacob off his neck. He's got his own country. He did very well. He's doing okay. Yeah. yeah he's doing all right. So he's not cursed, but. Well, we see in verse seven that Jacob is fearful. He's afraid. Yeah, in great fear and distress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he creates two camps. And then Jacob prays. <laughs> now remember, the last time he prayed was more like a, a, a deal with God. Yeah. My book says it was the first prayer since leaving Bethel. Yeah. Wow. So mm -hmm. he hadn't prayed the whole time he was with Laban. No. He didn't pray for children. Mm -hmm. he, How would the person writing this know that? Yeah. I don't. Moses. Because well, all scripture is God breathed. Yeah. Okay. God knows all everything. 16, God knows oh, everything. God, knows. God, yeah. Okay. And the <laughs> stories. Look at that one. And yeah. the stories are yeah. handed down from generation to generation. Yeah. I just think of Awana. So. Jacob so we teach like the kids. Us. We don't pray until we have problems. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way we should be. Life preserver. Oh, right. Remember, we gotta we gotta treat God like a steering wheel instead of a life preserver. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better to do that way. A lot right. better. So he's got this prayer, and this is the start of his turnaround. And if you remember from a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week, whatever, um, Jacob's life is in four stages, and he's finally into the third stage now where he has a, a new role as grabber, but what he's doing is he's grabbing onto God now. Instead of the heel? Instead of the heel. He realizes now that he can't do things without God. Um, his brothers chased him. He's worried about his brother killing him. Laban has mistreated him for 20, how many years? I think 20. 20. 20. 20. Mm -hmm. Was it only 20 or was it? Mm -hmm. 20. I think 20. 20. 7, 7, and 6. Okay, good. She has more wives she can handle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That too. He's got uh, lots of wives. And I think it's showing his honesty. He's bearing himself to God here. Mm -hmm. And I have a little side note that says, when we dread facing something or someone, um, what we need to do most is honestly face God. Mm -hmm. For I am afraid you will come and attack me and also the mothers and their children. But you have said, he's reminding God, I will surely make you prosper and will make your descendants like the sand of the sea, which cannot be counted. So, finally he prays. Very humble. Yeah. The way I looked at the end of that is, was, uh, he, he hasn't come all the way back yet by a long shot because it's, okay, I, you know, I'm asking for your help, but you told me if I did this, you'd do these good <laughs> things for me. Uh, yeah. you got to come through, too. Yeah. You know? He's still it, a dealer. It's like he's trying <laughs> to mm -hmm. He feels like he's got to remind God. He had to remind Laban, so he must have to remind God. But thou did say, you know, I'll do good. You do the same, you know? And he creates the, the two camps again. Um, creates all the gifts for Esau. Like a good leader, he was bringing up the rear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he put his wife and children in front of him. Uh -huh. Right. What a chicken. I'm well, sorry. I just thought. Well, this. part of his reasoning, so to speak, was that if he did get attacked, he had two companies, and one could go mm -hmm. this way and be saved, and the other one would be. Yeah, but he didn't have to be in the back of the. Well, you know, I know, but that, yeah. He didn't lead the charge. He swept up the parade at the end. Let's just. I think he'd been around Laban too long. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. He took some of his traits. Does it say that he was in the back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His yeah. wives and the mm -hmm. family yeah, were in front of him. Front. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know he sent him ahead. Yeah. Verse twenty. It says, "Your servant Jacob is coming behind us." Yeah. <laughs> For he thought. Well, well, that's the that's the servants with the critters. I think he was he still had his wives. Right, but in the, the next, household. The next day, though, he 
Sun. He sent them on ahead mm -hmm. across the river. Mm -hmm. I have a note that there was 580 no. okay. animals. I think Jacob went wow. first in verse 30 in uh, chapter 33 because if we uh, oh, we're skipping ahead, so we're yeah, we don't want to do right. that. Yeah. Best okay, part. So hang on, hang okay. on. So it's in chapter 33 where it says it gives the order. Right. Okay. So uh, verse 22. So right now he's only got 11 sons because Benjamin's not uh, born yet. Yeah, I wondered about that. Yeah. But there's one person missing who has been born. Dinah's not mentioned. Now, probably because she's female and she just doesn't count at this time. Not only is she <coughs> female, she's just too young. So she doesn't count. Um, sends over all his possessions. Jacob's left alone. Now, uh, here we come to a really, she's really fun. She's going to be mentioned in chapter 34. Oh, she is. Yeah. <laughs> she's a <laughs> star, a unfortunate star of yeah. chapter 34. Yeah. Now we get to a really, 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 really good section. This seems so weird to me. It is weird. I mean, <laughs> this is a weird yeah, this is, I just never have really... Hopefully you can enlighten me as to what all this means. Well... It's a weird section, no <laughs> doubt about it, because he, he, wrest he wrestles with this guy who just shows up. Mm -hmm. Till daybreak. Yeah. Till daybreak. Mm -hmm. All night. All night. One of the commentaries it says, it, the section is indeed one of the most difficult to understand in the Bible. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't see my God down on the ground wrestling with some guy. I don't. That's my vision of who God there, is, I don't see that. Ever. He had a purpose to let him win. <sighs> Was it supposed to be God, though? Did he, <clears throat> who, who really won? Well, he got a bone hip out of it. <laughs> yeah. He also got a blessing. And a blessing. And a blessing. And a blessing. My thing says Jacob had struggled his whole life to prevail, first with Esau, then with Laban. Now he was about to retain Canaan. And he was shown that it was that God that he must wrestle, not with Esau or any other human being. So, who did he wrestle? It, I think it was I God. I read it as that, God, too. That's what I did, too. I always thought it was God all these years when he wrestles with God. This Bible says the, the man refers to a theophany. Mm -hmm. An angel. An Old which Testament is Christ. appearance of yeah. Christ. Jacob did not initiate the contest. God wanted to separate the self-willed Jacob from all supports until he was left alone before him. Something the Lord still does with some of his followers. So the, the thing I found interesting was that only three Bibles, three English Bibles, capitalized the M and man in verse 24. And, and yeah, mine doesn't. Yeah, it's... The Amplified Version, Amplified C, which I have to check to see what that is, and a New King James Version. So I would have thought that the King James would have capitalized that. Because usually the newer Bibles don't capitalize um, the pronouns that stand for God, which is unfortunate. Um, but the New King James Bible does, and that's the way it should have been written. Because as, as we go through this section, we... It's clear that God is wrestling with Jacob. There's no doubt. So for for the Bible to to have man in lowercase, that just causes too much confusion. Mm -hmm. So he wrestles with the man till daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, because when God comes down to earth, he's God and man. So just like Jesus could have rain destruction on everybody from the cross on Good Friday, he didn't because he was God and man. So there's a, there's a, a fine line. So the, the wrestling, God is making himself a fair opponent with Jacob. Did you think he saw him face to face? I mean, Moses could only could see God's heel. Mm -hmm. I believe he did. 
and yeah, it says it here. And there's there's a couple different theories. There's a couple different theories uh, because as um, as Gary said, Moses didn't really see God. God took Moses and put him in the crack of the mountain, and all all Moses saw was God's backside. And in Exodus 33.20, we're told, uh, God says, You cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. So, why did he, why was he able to see his face? Yeah. It says, and yet my life is preserved. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple different possibilities. Um, and I put this in your guys' notes, so you have it for home. Um, opinion number one is that Jacob did die that day. Hmm. In this way, oh, that's Jacob right. died, and Israel was born. That's right. Okay, oh. um, dying in the form of spiritual death. Okay. Okay. Just like yeah. Adam and Eve um, died in Eden, mm -hmm. they didn't die a physical death; they died a spiritual death, <laughs> and that's how Satan was able to trick them. Because remember, Satan said, uh, "God does not surely mean you will die." So Satan was telling a half truth. Satan knew that they're not going to physically die, but they're going to die to God. So opinion one is, God, uh, Jacob did spiritually die, and he, be, he was reborn as Israel. So that's opinion number one. Uh, opinion number two, God wrestled, uh, Jacob wrestled with God in the person of Jesus, the, the pre-incarnate Jesus. Because Jesus really doesn't come down until he's born. But Jesus is also the way that God reveals himself to us. God the Father never comes down, in most people's opinions. Jesus would be the one to come down. So that's a possibility. 2 <coughs> Corinthians 5.17 is good. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, mm -hmm. new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. Yep, and there's Jacob again. Jacob so, is gone, Israel is back. Do you think the next morning he told everybody my new name now is? No, because we also see God <coughs> flip-flopping between Israel and Jacob. He calls uh, Jacob both names. And he does that in the, in the future chapters to remind Jacob of who he is. As we see as we go through chapter 32 and 33, Jacob really isn't transformed. He's changed, but he's not really totally transformed. So, and, and God reminds us of that fact as he keeps using both names. Okay, and I had, um, as a side note, um, <coughs> this was a teaching moment for Jacob. Um, he had to uh, face up and fight honestly. Sure. He couldn't just kind of <laughs> be <laughs> yeah. susceptible with this. Yeah. Point. And I think um, it shows us that in the darkness, we may be struggling, but we have to keep on going. And when the light comes when we start to see things, that's, that's when we're going to have that transformation, see the struggles that we have. Um, and it's God's intent to make us overcomers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like I said, this translates back to our own lives when we're struggling with something, when we're in the darkness, when we're having issues. You know, we have to struggle with this until we work through it. Yeah, and... And God's there to, to help us work through it because it prepares us for what's ahead. And the last opinion is um, it was nighttime and God left before dawn. So perhaps Jacob.